Hi there! Today I'm going to talk to you about low pitch roof construction. Think of the roof as a system, not just tiles on battens and underlay. Roof tiles are carefully designed and tested in extreme wind and rain conditions, but in reality there'll be occasions when water will find its way into the batten cavity. That's the space between the tiles and the underlay. This is even more likely at low roof pitches where everything, the tiles, the underlay, flashings etc are all working at or close to their limits. I recommend that anyone installing a roof at 22 degrees or below should consider following these guidelines to ensure the whole roof system is watertight. A good example is a house extension where the tiling may not be perfectly flat if, for example, the tiles pass over roof window flashings or where the tiling may have to cope with extra water runoff from a higher roof slope. This one has water shedding directly above the side junction with the roof window. Very bad practice. Condensation can also form in the batten cavity as water vapour passes through the breathable underlay from inside the building. So it's important to design and build the roof to allow any water that does find its way into the batten cavity to drain away safely to the gutter. The old bituminous underlays were compressed by the tile battens and sealed around the nail holes. Being heavy, they tended to drape naturally between the rafters and direct water away from the nail holes. Modern polymer based underlays are great for helping the roof breathe but they don't compress and seal around the nail holes and are more difficult to drape. So they can trap water behind the battens which then can find its way through the nail holes into the roof structure. This sequence shows how to construct the roof simply with little additional cost to ensure the underlay layer remains waterproof. Firstly, the underlay is laid across the roof and draped directly over the rafters. Depending on the type of underlay and exposure category, it may be necessary to take the underlay laps. Your underlay supplier will advise you on that. Secondly, instead of fixing the tile battens directly into the rafters through the underlay, install nail tape along and directly above each rafter. Nail tape mimics the properties of the old bituminous underlay by forming a seal around the nails and between the underlay and battens. Then, counter battens are fixed over the nail tape. The counter battens protect the nail tape during installation of the tiles and lift the battens up enough to allow water to escape between the battens and the underlay without the need for a drape. These only need to be 10mm deep but standard 25mm deep tile battens can be used. Then, the tile battens can be installed, fixing directly through the counter battens into the rafters. The nail tape will protect the nail holes in the underlay to maintain its waterproofness. At eaves, make sure the underlay is fully supported to an adequate fall behind the fascia or tilt fillet. Secure and seal the underlay to the underlay support trays using a suitable tape or adhesive. At abutment such as walls and chimneys, turn the underlay up the abutment 100mm and secure and seal to the abutment using a suitable tape or adhesive. Where there are roof windows, cut and turn the underlay up around the window surround to prevent water access into the opening. Secure and seal the underlay to the timbers. Install a roof window collar if available and follow the window manufacturer's instructions. And there you have it. The extra cost to do this and make the roof watertight is minimal and will save the roofer from potentially having to go back to carry out expensive remedial works. A handout is available on this but please feel free to contact us if you need assistance on this or any other roofing topic. Enjoy the rest of your day!